hi guys it's your girl ella and if you just see my face for the first time you're welcome to my space and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to use yoni purse for infertility for pcos for irregular menstruation anything and everything that has to do with yoni purse we're going to be talking about all of them today in this video and that is because i have actually shared like three videos already about yoni pearls but i still get to receive a lot of questions so that is why i am making this video and also because i'm also on the pearls right now so that is why i'm also making this video as well to also share with you guys my result like what i've been doing so far how have i been feeling so far since i've been using the pearl you know so all of it put together we're just going to be talking about all of that in today's video so let me not bore you guys out let's dive right into this video so first of all i get to receive a lot of questions like what does the yoni pearls do what does it do can it help me with irregular menstruation can it help me with uh, infertility can it help me with blood too you know i get to receive a whole lot and lot and lot of questions so all of that i'm um i'm just gonna put a picture right here so that you can see the list of what it actually do okay what the pearls actually do you're gonna see the picture right here or right here or on both sides so you can just know very well without me getting to say it because in my first video when i started my channel newly i tried my best to make sure that i call out almost everything that the pearls do but i wasn't able to do that because the pearl actually works for a whole lot of things so i just have to mention out the few i can and the most important ones too i am just going to put out a picture and i'm going to make it stay a little bit longer so that you guys can just see and read what it actually do okay to answer your question if it uh unblocks uh uh, blocked fallopian tube if it uh, works for irregular menstruation if it works for pcos you know everything you're just going to see what it actually do in the picture all right so just take your time calm down if you can pause the video to actually read then just pause it and read everything on the picture so this is it the pearls actually works for everything okay and you should also do your research if you know you're going through if you know you're going through something in your life like uh you're struggling with infertility or you have pcos or you have ovarian cyst and you feel you want to use this pearl it's nice i mean you should always go with your guts all right but then again before you do always i repeat always this is something i always do and I would also want to advise you as my friends and my family so me telling you this is because i want you to also do it it's not just uh okay i want to use this thing and then go buy it you should also do research okay do research does this thing actually work for what i want to use it for is it going to solve my problem or am i just going to waste my time and money in buying and using something that might not even work so if you know you're using it for ovarian seeds you're using it for PCOS, you're using it for infertility, fine and good. Do your research. Does it work? How does it work? Does it have side effect? How long do I use it? Ask questions, okay? When I discovered Yoni, uh, Yoni Pearls at first, I did a lot of research. I go on Google, I do more research, and then after putting everything together, I decided okay now it's time for me to actually try it so definitely good do your research trust me it's good and it's good so the next thing we're going to be talking about now is what are the pearls made of okay what are they made of what was the ingredient what is that ball actually what is it made of okay so here again i'm going to drop you the list like just look at it so this is practically what the yoni pearl is made of okay so you can just go ahead read on i'm gonna leave the pictures uh a little bit more longer so that you take your time if you have to if you have to pause it go ahead and pause it so that you can read this is what the pearl is actually made of this is the ingredient so if you know you want to also do research on this ingredient like what does this ingredient do to the uterus do to your lady part you can go ahead and do your research 
okay so now the next thing we're going to be talking about now is the side effects okay i can remember that i haven't actually spoken about the side effects from all three videos that i've uploaded so far but uh the reason why i haven't actually spoken about the side effect in any of my previous videos is because i never actually experienced any side effects and even during the process whereby i was doing research as a 10 years ago i never 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 actually came across anyone that actually said they had a side effect so that's why i have never actually talked about the side effect and also for me i never i never actually did experience a side effect so that's why i never actually spoke about any side effects in any of my videos but then again i am starting to see comments from some people that said they had side effects from using the pearl like cramping and then it kind of messed up their menstruation oh well that kind of triggered some something in me and then i have to like go again to do more research to actually find if it has a side effect okay even though i have never 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 ever experienced any side effects from when i used it years ago and from when i am using it right now as i am talking to you i am not experiencing any side effect but i still have to go online and do research on the side effects so that i can know how to balance when people come up with uh, them having side effect and uh, I can tell if they used it rightly or if they didn't use it rightly or if maybe their body just didn't accept it. So I went online and I did uh, a little bit of research on the side effects. Like I actually didn't get much, but I did see that uh, I went on Google though. I did see that the cramping that these people were actually complaining about was true because it was also added as one of the side effects of this yoni pearls. Well, I've never experienced it. Yes, I'm gonna be put down the picture so you can see the side effects. These are the side effects from the yoni pearls. So these people actually complaining about cramping and uh, their menstruation being messed up. I understand. I mean, I've never experienced it though, but for them to have experienced it, that means there is definitely a side effect so you're going to be cautious when trying to use it i mean this pearl is very strong it pulls out a lot of things so we women are uh, our down below our lady part is very fragile it's very soft so in as much as we're taking the risk because of the problems we're going through trying to cure whatever sickness we're having or trying to conceive we should also be cautious of the fact that we might also get hot from these things okay so using it gradually and gently can help and play a very big role so yes these are the side effects that i got from google from the internet so uh i hope you look at it and be careful while using it okay um so now the next thing we're going to be talking about is the pain all of the side effects okay so now for instance you bought a pack and you're using the the pearl and you started having cramps or you're feeling irritated or you're having i don't know i mean the process whereby you're on, the per, on this pearl you should be cautious like be self-cautious don't just put the pearls in there and just forget about it like okay till 48 hours till 73 hours no i mean put it there but study yourself like how am i gonna put it um pay attention to your body okay you have to feel pain or anything at all in any part of your body you should just i don't know think think fast like is it this pearl okay if it's not the pearl you will still know you will definitely know if it's the pearl you would also know and then you can quickly go and pull it out you can be on the pearl and be bleeding and still leave it in there you can be on the pearl and be having cramps and still leave it in there you can be on the pearl and you're having pain i mean anything at all you know you're feeling and still leave it in there no way if you know you're bleeding while using the pearl take it off if you know you're having cramps while using the pearl take it off okay don't don't risk it okay and for women out there i mean i know there are also a lot of uh women out there that are scared to actually use the pearl because they can't see themselves putting something down there like just want to put something down there so i would also advise you go for the steam 
that one is more better i like the steam i have the steam just that um i do prefer the pearl to the steam and that is because for me when i use this the the steam i always feel like i just want to take a shower and that's just it, it it's just the heat i just sit down and then my body inhales the heat and and i'm and i'm and i'm done like just like that and that should be more comfortable for women that can actually use the pearl you know like put it in and just leave it in so if you know you can't use the pearl they go for the steam but i have the steam i have a small pack like this i think this one is about the five gram yep so the whole of this i just put it in the pot let it boil let it heat and then i sit on it and then after that another pack and stuff like that so if you know you can stand the pearl the pearl go for the steam okay go for the steam it's just to sit down and just let your body or allow your body inhale the heat but then again honey if you know you're having any discomfort at all stop it stop it and don't forget if you're pregnant you can use it if you're a virgin you can use it don't forget okay so now we're going to be talking about how to actually use the pearl okay we're going to talk about how to use the pearl and i'm also going to show you guys what i have been up to so far because uh as of now like i said uh earlier i am actually on the pearl right now i'm actually using it to just dig toss you know because my husband and I were ready for baby number two and I have been on the mini pill for I think almost two years so we just stopped using the pearl the pill and I just felt okay why not detox you know um let me just wipe let me just use the the, uh, the pearl to detox not too much unlike when I was actually using the pearl for my fibro for my ovarian cyst but now I'm actually just use it to dictose because of the contraception pills that I took. So yes, that is why I am actually on the pearls right now. Nothing much, no cramping, nothing like nothing. And I don't get to have a lot of discharge like when I pull out the pearl apart from day one. Yes, it was on day one that I had a discharge that was so... <laughs> scary it was a little bit scary but not that scary okay i'm gonna show and play the video for you guys all right so um my first day day one was very scary because first when i pulled out the pearl well the discharge wasn't much and then a few minutes later i felt okay let me go pee and that was when something else was like oh so um i'm just gonna go ahead and play the video for you guys much yeah. So guys, as you can see, uh, not in much, like I explained earlier, I uh, just took out the pearl and as you can see, really, it's not in much. Apart from the fact that uh, one of the pearl is looking a little bit darker than the other. So yeah, not in much. And this is few minutes after I took out the pearl. Uh, just now, there was nothing on the pearl, really. It was nothing. And just when I thought I should go and pee because I was having... Um, I don't know this urge to use the bedroom so I went into the bedroom and I peed and I wiped and this was practically what I wiped out of my lady part so I don't know it's a little bit uh, how am I gonna put it it's a little bit uh, I don't know somehow but it's just sticky and nothing much really guys so this is just it like nothing 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 really much nothing serious and this is the third day yes my second wash i don't know my second pearl uh the second day i think yes this is the second day i'm not really sure guys like i'm not calculating correctly right now and you can see i used three pearls yeah this is the second day i used three pearls and nothing much as usual and yeah you can also see like the three pearls they're looking all messy and there is something there that looks a little bit sticky i don't know like um i don't know it's just gross but apart from this nothing much nothing serious nothing much i think maybe it's that's because i am not using the pearls for anything serious apart from the fact that i'm just using it to detox you know to clean my system because of the contraception Apart from that, guys, nothing more. So this is what I've been on. So 
guys that is it about the video you can see nothing much uh it's just the first day that actually freaked me out a little but apart from that nothing more okay i'm not actually using it for anything serious like when i used it about four years ago for virency or fibroid i'm just using it to just just clean my system you know because of the contraception and all of that so that is just it so now let's talk a little bit more on how you can use the pearl i like to use it every evening okay i also remember someone also asked me that question in the comment section that uh is it preferable to use in the morning afternoon evening well i would say evening i like to use it more in the evening and that is because it, um if you get to use it in the evening late before going to bed you take a shower you put it in drink a lot of water and go to bed wake up the next morning you feel fresh the upper day take it out you wash go to bed the next you put it back okay so that is how i do mine and i always i always make sure i wet it okay i don't know if uh, a lot of people get to use it dry but the pack i bought i mean this one and the brand is uh beautiful life yes it says this product is uh intended for genital itching abdo abdominal uh i don't know sorry the writing is too small guys like it's too small i can barely see oh goodness and then yeah tuba blockage and then what is this oh my goodness the writing is just too small guys so i know i saw a little bit of what i can read but from i don't know the rest i can't see so it does a lot of things though i mean this pack actually came with an instruction that you should always wet it before you insert it okay and i don't know why but i tried both ways okay i tried putting it wet and putting it dry and trust me the dry wasn't fun like i had to actually force it in you know like i don't know it just wasn't fun we were just i don't know myself and the pearl was just dragging each other okay i like to wet it because when i wet it it just goes smoothly and i tried using it dry but it wasn't fun it wasn't fun at all so yes that is how to use the yoni pearl you can use it during the day you can you can use it in the morning afternoon or evening but i prefer evening i mean it's way better because you just put it in and then you go to bed you drink a little water and go to bed and that is just it and then always make sure you wet it and be cautious of how long you would want to use it and be mindful of how you feel when you are on the pearl always be at a lot okay so the next thing we're going to be talking about is how to detect a fake or a real one okay there is a fake one and there's an original one out there okay i don't play with that i mean this is our body as women so we should be uh, careful with the things we buy online to actually use on our body all right so when it comes to this pearl i always say when it comes to this pearl when it comes to this one which you of course you're going to insert inside your vagina don't buy a pack or don't buy from a brand that has no name if you see that the pack is just gold the pack is just pink the pack is just green like it has no name it has no address it has no location nothing don't go for it because at the end of the day, when it turns out that it's fake, you can't do anything. When it turns out that during the process whereby you're using it, you get hurt, there is no way you're going to be able to trace the brand. There is no way you're going to be able to advise other people to stay away from that brand. And that is because you bought from a brand that has no name. You bought a pearl that is just plain pink or plain gold, no name. So if it turns out fake and then you get hot during the process while you're using it, how are you going to trace the brand? Okay, always be mindful of that because there are fake ones out there. And these people, they don't have no brand. But if, for instance, this one I used and I'm still using, a uh, Beautiful Life, if, for instance, this one did any harm to me, I know where to go. 
I know how to trace them. I know how to tell people like stay away from this brand. I mean the name is beautiful life it hurts, you know? But no. There's nothing like that. All right? So you should be careful of how you buy and what you buy. All right? So now we're going to I'm going to demonstrate for you um I'm going to bring out two pearls. I actually have two different pearls. This one is a beautiful life and then the other one is clean point, okay? Although it's it's a pearl, the other one is clean point, and this one is beautiful. Life. So we're gonna crack one amongst these pearls together, okay? In order for you to be able to detect a fake pearl when you buy or purchase the pearls online or from wherever it is you purchase the pearl from, uh, first of all, you crack the pearls, all right? If you crack the pearls and it comes out strong, like hard, that's a fake one. But if you crack the pearls. And it comes out smooth and powdery, you know, like a powder and a little bit smooth. Like when you crack it with your hand like this, it just uh, it just smoothens itself. I don't know if that even makes sense. Then that's a real one. But when you crack it and it's hard, know that it's fake. Okay? So I'm going to show you. So, that so guys, like I said earlier, I have two Yoni Pearls, yes? two different brands the first one is clean point and the other one is beautiful life beautiful life that is uh my leftover from the one i bought uh years ago that uh, i'm still using it though and then the clean point is the one i just bought of recent and that is because my beautiful life is almost finished i think it's mainly just three so that's not going to be enough for me and that is why i bought the clean point so guys we're going to be cracking this clean point we're gonna open and crack to see if it's original or if it's fake and don't worry this clipper it's uh it's spot is broken already so that is what we're gonna be using to crack open the yoni pearls to see if it's fake or not so yes guys let's dive right and see if this baby is fake or not okay So guys, first of all, I'm just going to take away the mesh cloth so that you see how it looks like. And here you go. It's really small and beautiful and it smells really nice. Like I have no problem with the smell. And here you go. And as you can see, guys, it looks a little bit brownish. Okay, take note. It's brown in a way. So when you unwrap your yoni pearls and you see that the ball is looking a little bit dark, you know, just know that it's not an original pearl just know that it's fake i mean that is a very big sign for you to know that it's fake i mean you haven't even cracked it yet you don't even need to crack it for the pearls to be looking dark already that is a very big sign that it's fake before cracking it so let's go ahead and crack these pearls and try to squeeze it i mean if we try to squeeze it and it's not going smoothly that means it's also fake but when it's going smoothly it means it's fake so as you can see here i am trying to squeeze it and i am squeezing already and you can see it's going smoothly like like a powder or something i don't even know how to say it but you can see it's really going smoothly like it's smooth i wish you guys can actually feel it like the way i'm feeling it right now it's really it's really going smoothly and the smell it's really strong like it's it's going really strong in here so yeah it's smooth and it's very easy like that's just it but when you try to crack you can see after cracking you're trying to squeeze the pearl and you're unable to squeeze the pearl like you're finding it hard to just smoothen it know that it's fake that is not an original pearl when you're trying to smooth it it should go smoothly like a powder but when it's not doing that like when when you're unable to do that with your hand you're trying to to squeeze it you're trying to smoothen it and it's not going smoothly just know that it's fake guys just know that it's fake so that is what you can see right here on the screen and i'm trying to demonstrate so that you know the difference between an original pearl and a fake one okay because these things also adds to the reason why when you're using the pearl you get to have um uh you get to feel cramps and 
and any other pain or discomfort because you're not really sure if the pearl you're using is real or not okay you should also put that in mind while buying a pearl okay so yeah this really helps for you to actually detect from when you are having an original pearl or when you are having a fake one okay so yes this is basically it about this video and i think this might even be the last video i'm gonna be doing about this pearl so guys this is it hope to see you next monday i love you thanks for watching my video see you next monday guys bye